We start with some breaking news of North Korea firing multiple short-range projectiles out toward the East Coast. The biggest question is on North Korea's motive and how this will impact the nuclear talks with South Korea and the U.S. We have our Seoul's De Defense Ministry correspondent Kim ji on the line for us. ji give us the details. Sure. South Korea's Joint Chief of Staff confirmed this morning that North Korea fired multiple short-range projectiles from its eastern coast near South Korean port city of Wonsan, Gangwon-do province, in the space of around 20 minutes between 9.06 a.m. and 9.27 a.m. local time today. It was first reported to have been missiles, but the South Korean military corrected that their projectiles pending further identification. It tells us the projectiles flew between 70 and 200 kilometers in a north northeasterly direction. It says it's currently working with the U.S. to verify what projectiles were launched by local experts have said looking at the trajectory it may be a KNO2 short-range projectile or a KNO6 surface-to-air guided missile. It could very well have been a mixture of one or more of these types of weapons, but we'll have to wait and see what Seoul's defense ministry can tell us on that. The South Korean military also says it's closely working with the U.S. maintaining a strong joint military readiness posture. The last time North Korea test-fired a missile was in November of 2017, when inter-Korean tensions were high and U.S. President Donald Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un were locked in a heated verbal exchange. The last time North Korea fired a projectile was less than three weeks ago when it fired a new tactical guided weapon on April 17th. Questions will be raised on the motives behind North Korea's test firing, whether it's to send the U.S. and South Korea a message and if it's a show of frustration over the slow progress in negotiations over sanctions relief. Recently, they've heavily criticized South Korea for conducting joint military exercises this year with the U.S., although they've been scaled down compared to previous years. South Korea's presidential office of Chong Ade says it's closely following the situation, but has no plans to hold a National Security Council meeting over the projectile launch. Other possible reasons for the test launch could be for propaganda purposes as Kim Jong-un came back empty-handed from its summit with President Trump in Hanoi. Foreign media outlets have also been quick in their breaking coverage of the launch, including CNN, which reported that U.S. National Security Advisor John Bolton has briefed President Trump on the matter. We'll have to wait and see if the move will be a game-changer in the denuclearization talks between Pyongyang and Washington, which have been deadlocked since the Hanoi summit. Back to you, Mokyan. Thank you, Chien, for the report.